Hit the subscribe, I have so much good news coming, it's crazy. They're feminine. Okay, we're gonna take these out. Just put that away. I am moving it. Oh wait, are they just, oh they're still warm. Okay, give me a little weight a little bit. I'll wait like 20 minutes. I'm really impatient. Yeah, hi. Say hi to the people. So much to tell you guys, it's not even funny. I think I'm gonna do my workout and then tell you guys what's going on. It's crazy. I look crazy. I am crazy. <laughs> um, today Wednesday. ties at the top oh my gosh the bottoms are actually really cute too sometimes these ones with more fabric don't look as flattering they actually make you look bigger but these are real there's the back really really cute and the top I feel like secure which is hard to do because I'm currently breastfeeding still still really cute Oops. cute it is probably my favorite of all like there's enough coverage to wear. They're feminine, but they're not too sporty. Does that make sense? Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Okay, so the back's pretty small, but this is really cute. Really, really cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, the color of this one, ugh, and the quality is crazy. Like for the price, I mean, these were anywhere from, some of them are $14 to like 20. 20, I don't think I spent any more than $24. This is so cute. So this one has little ruffles here and I feel super secure. It doesn't feel like it's gonna rip or break. My feet too. This is so cute. Here's this one. This one I did buy too big. So like the bottoms are too big, the top is too big, but it's still really cute. So there, their sizes are pretty true to like average bikini sizes for sure. Like I know some bikini sizes like they're small, it's like extra, 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 extra small. These ones are not, they're pretty true to size. So top is bigger, which is nice. So if I get pregnant again, um, I can wear this one, but really cute. And then here is this blue one. It's like blue and white checkered. It's really cute. The bottoms are really small as far as coverage so if you want more coverage I definitely recommend the first two that I showed you which those two are my favorite but this is so cute I love it I wanted something a little bit more like to hold me in I guess depending on what I was doing so I picked this one which I still love also these straps come off so really cute and then last but not least I ordered this really cute USA um, tea. It's actually really good quality. Those are the red bottoms from the first red bikini. I actually think the only red bikini. And this is a crop top. Really cute. You can hear my little human. It's like got like longer sleeves and it'd be really cute with high waisted jeans. Easy to breastfeed. Just pull it up or throw it over a bikini. Really, really cute. And then I also ordered this really cute jumper. I'm gonna be honest, it's a little bit shorter than what I would normally wear and I have it on the left um, like button. So if you're someone like me who's just not really comfortable wearing super short stuff, this might not be the one for you and I'm pretty short, I'm 5'2", and it feels <laughs> short for me. Now, to wear over a bikini though, really cute. Or if you're gonna go to the beach, 
and you want something you know to go out to lunch afterwards or like just wear over your bikini this is really cute it is kind of thicker so it's more like corduroy but it's really cute I mean I'm happy I got it but I probably I don't know like so if I pick up the baby I mean <laughs> like, you know but to wear to the beach or to the pool it's fine really cute if you guys want to try any of those the link is in the description box below you guys i have so much to tell you ah! if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe i have so much good news coming it's crazy um okay so story time we did not get the condo <sighs> we got a call we stalked these people by the way we stalked them and then we got a call we submitted on sunday night we got a call on tuesday after stalking them i mean i was calling them my husband was calling them we were calling the office we were calling the realtor cell number i mean we were calling his assistant we were literally stalking them and my husband was stalking them i was stalking them and then we got a really sad text that said that they went with the other um applicants because they could move in uh like basically three weeks earlier than we could so they got three more weeks of rent versus us so we couldn't move in until the end of the month so i was really upset i cried about it that's why you haven't seen a video from me because i've just been really down and then we went and found this other one that was the same price same kind of area and looked at it you guys it was so dirty and I'm not super picky, but I'm like, when you move into a place and you're spending all of this money, you want to feel it like it's new and fresh. And I mean, on days that I've been like tired and exhausted, I'd never let our place get that dirty. Like in this place was empty and it was just dirty and dark and I just wasn't happy with it. So I like was even more sad, like looking at that apartment almost made the other one even better, if that makes sense. So anyways, I've been really just depressed and down and we were already kind of dealing with stuff in our own life and <sighs> anyways, the other day I was crying to my mom on the phone in the morning and I was just like, you know, mom, like why, like why hasn't God showed up? Like I've been so obedient in so many areas of my life and I just felt like he had bailed on me and so I got off the phone with my mom and I was just praying i got on the treadmill normally i do my classes i haven't done a treadmill prayer time in a long time and i got on the treadmill and i just had some really sweet prayer time with god and um got home and was just feeling very refreshed and like very good about where i was and where we were like okay this is it like i'm gonna be just the best wife ever and I'm just gonna smile and I'm gonna be where, where I am and I in my situation and I'm just gonna be happy and thankful and I just started like praying about all the things I'm thankful for and then you guys <laughs> I put the baby down for a nap at like one and I get a call and on the caller ID it said Brandon and I was like I don't really know a Brandon except for the realtor I'm like, why is he calling? And he's calling from a different number. And I knew all the numbers that he was calling from before because we were stalking him. And he was calling from a different number. And I'm like, okay. So I answer the phone and I'm like, hello. And he's like, hey, Ivy, it's Brandon. I'm like, okay. And he's like, do you know who this is? And I was like, uh, he goes, it's Brandon from our street name. And then I was like, oh, hi. And he goes, you wouldn't happen to still be interested, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, I have. Also, by the way, I want to tell you, not only were we stalking him on the phone, every single day after we found out we didn't get it, I was sending him emails on the Realtor website saying like, hey, I'm still interested. Hey, I'm still here. Like every single day, I would send him in like an email inquiry on the property <laughs> as well as call him. Anyways, um, he said, you wouldn't happen to still be interested. And I was like, yeah, like what do you mean? And, and he said that the other tenants, you guys, the other tenants showed up to move in that first Saturday of the month showed up to move in and they showed up with a pit bull and because of it being a condo the HOA of that facility does not allow pit bulls even with it being a emotional support dog and so they ended up not being able to sign the paperwork because of the HOA and the pit bull and they were not willing to part with their pit bull so 
anyways he called us and said are you do you still want it and I was like dying you guys I was like I can't even believe it I had just put the baby down for a nap and of course like she woke up and I just didn't even care and I called Justin like a million times and he was at his event working so I called him a million a million times and um just waiting for him to answer and I text him and I said call me immediately and then I tried to delete the text because I was going to try to drive down there and tell him and it just ended up not working out <laughs> I call him and he answers and he's like all serious because I was, obviously I said call me immediately and I call him and he's like what what's wrong and I'm like giggling because I'm just like laughing uncontrollably and he's like what what's wrong and I'm like I can't like I couldn't get it out and he's like stop messing with me and so I was like we got it like we my street name we got we got the condo on that street and he's like what shut the f up like you're not serious like you're like no way you're messing with me and I'm like no we really got it and so long story short we're moving into this amazing place that I'm so excited if you guys saw my video what three videos ago I did a little tour in there and I was just I loved it you guys have you ever walked into a place and just felt like it was home I, this was like home I felt like this is where I want to be even places that like I've looked that were way out of our budget um you know you just look at those I wasn't even in love with any of them like I was this one I mean this one was in our budget it was something we could do and it was everything that I wanted I mean I can't wait so anyways long story short my videos for the next few weeks might be a little bit crazy because we're moving and then we are um and then i fly to illinois for my brother's um event uh my brother that passed away uh, we have a charity that's a whole other story but i'm flying to illinois for that and then my husband's doing events so it's a little bit crazy but um i'm really excited wait justin's calling hi babe Anyways, that was Justin complaining about his drive home. He's currently driving over an hour every single day from the office. So that's another reason why we're moving. This is a lot closer to his work. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'm so excited to share this journey with you. I'm so excited to like just go through a move with you guys. Like I haven't done that, obviously, since we've been here. So I'm just really, really excited to share that with you. And yeah stay tuned hit the subscribe so you can see everything that's coming up and i will see you guys on my next video bye